here in this uh, this lesson is on integer operations okay so this is lesson three from our first unit our first chapter so our common core strand for our teachers is given there so here we're going to use our prior knowledge of a number line so we can add and subtract and later uh, uh, learn how to multiply and divide integers so our essential question is how can we add subtract multiply and divide positive and negative integers okay so what is an integer you guys well you got to start with a set of whole numbers a set of whole numbers starts at zero and they're just counting numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up. That's what the dot, dot, dot means, all the way up to infinity. So it keeps going, 20, 21, 22, 101, 102. So it just keeps going. So those are whole numbers. And integers are those numbers and all the negative numbers, OK? So all the negative counting numbers. And this dot, dot, dot over here means uh, uh, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and so on, OK? And remember, as you go to the left, the numbers get smaller. And when I go to the right, the numbers get bigger. So negative 3 is actually smaller than negative 2. Negative 3 is smaller than 0 because 0 is to the right. Remember that from a prior lesson right there? All right, so we can use the number line to uh, add integers. And so we always start at 0 on the number line and move to the left if your integer is negative and move to the right if the integer is positive, OK? So if I get a negative integer, I'm going to go this way. If I get a positive integer, I'm going to go this way right there, OK? So let's try some of these, you guys. So here we go. So find each sum. So this works when you're adding. So 2 plus negative 4, OK? So this is positive, so I'm going to go 2 to the right and then turn around and go 4 to the left because it's negative. So start at 0. Move two units to the right, and then from there, move four units to the left. So here I did. I started at zero right here and went two units to the right. And then from here, I'm adding negative four. So that means turn around and go this direction, four units. One, two, three, four. So we're, our final position right here is at negative two. So that's our answer right there. Uh, so negative, or so plus two plus negative four is negative two. All right, let's try another one here. Negative three plus 6. Okay, so this means I'm going to go to the left 3 to the right 6 after I go to the left 3. So start at 0, move 3 units to the left, and then 6 units to the right. So here's 0. I went 3 units to the left, and then from here I went, I went 6 units to the right that way. Okay, so there's my final position right there at positive 3. So negative 3 plus 6 is 3. Okay, and I know you guys are thinking, ah, this is easy, but but it's so easy it's easy to make mistakes on this you guys so just if you follow this rule it works every time you guys okay now you don't have to do that here's one negative three plus negative four okay that's negative so to the left that's negative so to the left some more so i start at zero move to the left three and then from there move to the left four more units you guys so here i did i started at zero i went to the left three and then because that's negative, I keep going to the left, so I go four more, and that, that takes me to negative seven. So my final position is at negative seven. And again, I know you guys are thinking, this is easy. I can do this in my head, but I see kids make so many mistakes on this, you guys. This is negative seven. A lot of kids want to say positive seven or, or negative one or, or positive one. Or, so um, if you just uh, uh, use the rule of the number line right here, it'll, it'll work every time, okay? All right, so when you subtract, you guys, when I'm subtracting x minus y, you add the opposite of this guy. Always add the opposite. Have you heard of that before? So you're going to add the opposite of y to x. Then we use what we just did. So x minus y is the same as x plus negative y. So if it's positive, it goes to the right. If it's negative, it goes to the left when I'm adding integers. So subtracting, you just add the opposite. So find the difference. That means subtract. So 3 minus 9, okay? So I'm going to add the opposite of this 9, so I'm going to add a negative 9, 3 plus negative 9, okay? And then this is just like what we just did. I go 3 units to the right, then 9 units to the left, because that's negative right there. And I'm hoping you can see from here it's going to get me to this right here. 3 units to the right, then 9 units to the left, because this is the same as 3 plus negative 9. Okay, there's the picture. Three units to the right, start at zero. Three units to the right, and then nine that away. And so I ended at uh, negative six, you guys. So the final position is my answer. So three minus nine is, is uh, negative six, okay? 
All right, try this one, negative 5 minus 4. Okay, I'm going to, since that's a minus sign, I'm going to add the opposite. So this is going to become a plus negative 4, negative 5 plus negative 4. So to the left, it's negative. To the left, some more, it's negative. So if I did that, I'm going to start at 0, move 5 units to the left, then 4 more units to the left. And where am I final position? Right there at negative 9. So negative 5 minus 4 is equal to negative 9. Okay, and I know you guys are thinking this is easy, but uh, it's easy to make mistakes also. Okay, try this one, you guys. Negative 5 minus a negative 13. Remember, we add the opposite, so I'm going to change this to a plus and change this to a positive 13. Okay, now, I don't, I don't think I have a number line on this one, or maybe I do. I forgot, you guys. So, oh, I do. Okay, so it's the next one. I don't. So I go uh, 5 units to the left because it's negative, and then I take it off and go 13 units that way. Well, there's 5 units right there. It takes me back to 0. Okay, and then I got to go another eight more because uh, five plus eight is thirteen. All right, so that so there's my final position right there at eight. Okay, so that's my answer right there. Negative five minus a negative thirteen is a positive eight. Okay, it gets kind of tricky, doesn't it, you guys? All right, try this. You got four numbers here. Okay, now this is the one I don't have a number line right here. So if I go to the left seven, and then I go to the left fifteen more, this is going to take me to negative twenty-two. Okay, so all I did is I added negative 7 plus negative 15 is negative 22. All right, now negative 22, I'm way over there at the left, and then I'm going to go plus 2. So that's going to go to the right 2. So this is going to take me to negative 20 right there, just doing one thing at a time right there. Okay, now I'm going to do negative 20 plus 12. I'm at negative 20, so I'm going to go 12 to the which way? I'm going to go, since it's positive, I'm going to go to the right. So if I go to the right, it's going to take me to negative 8. Okay, so that's the one I didn't use a number line on. Try it with this one. Okay, 5 minus 19 minus 2 plus 21. So I'm going to change this minus to 5 plus a negative 19. This is going to become plus a negative 2 and then plus 21. Okay, so that's all I'm doing right there. All right, so this would be to the right 5 and then to the left 19. All right, so if I'm at to the right 5, at positive 5, and then go to the left 19, that's going to take me to uh, negative 14 right there. Are you guys with me? Okay, and now I'm going to go negative 14. I'm at the left, negative 14. I'm going to add some more left right here, and that's going to take me to negative 16 right there. And now when I go negative 16 and I turn around and go in the positive direction, 21, negative 16 plus 21 will take me to 5. How do, what do you think, you guys? Okay. All right, so when multiplying or dividing, I'm sure all of you guys have heard this, and a positive times a positive is a positive. A positive times a, po a negative is a negative, and same with dividing, you guys. And then a negative times a negative, what's that? Well, hopefully you guys know it's a positive right there. So the product or quotient, if quotient means you're dividing, product means multiplying. So the product or quotient of two numbers, if they have the same sign, it's positive. So positive times a positive or negative times a negative, same sign means it's positive. If they have different signs, it's negative. Okay, so I, I think that's not old news to you. So let's try this. Multiply or divide, you guys. Okay, so here I have a positive times a negative. So this is going to be a negative. 5 times 7 is 35, so it's negative 35. Okay, here I have a negative divided by a negative. So this is, a, they're the same sign, so this answer is going to be positive. 24 divided by 3 is 8. Positive 8. Okay, how about this guy? Okay, here I have a positive times a negative. I'm only going to do these two guys first. So positive times a negative is a negative. So 7 times 2 is 14, so it's negative 14. And then here I have negative 14 times negative 5, and negative times negative is a positive. 14 times 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, all the way up to count with your fingers, 14. I get 70, okay? All right, so because it's uh, negative times negative. All right, try this one here. A negative divided by negative. This is going to be positive, so 25 divided by 5 is 5. So I just did these two guys, and then here I have a positive 5 times a negative 2. Notice I'm going from left to right when I'm multiplying or dividing. Don't do multiply first. You do whatever comes first when you go from left to right. Okay, 5 times negative 2, a positive times a negative is a negative right there. All right, I hope this helps you guys. If it does, then, then please click like if you're on your YouTube account. If it doesn't, then please click uh, dislike. And if you're so inclined, go ahead and subscribe. Take care, you guys.